this is not a clickbait video because people keep asking me if these are sister locks. Girl, I wish there were some sister locks, but nobody got no sister lock money. No, I did not get my hair sister lock. These are just mini twists. I just twisted them really small this time. They're cute, right? Yeah, but no, these are not sister locks, honey. Okay. I am now a vegan. And I'm going to tell y'all why. This is what this video is about. I just want to make sure y'all see my bando so y'all know I'm not naked because I don't get down like that. Today makes officially like, it's been like 36 hours that I've been a vegan, right? So the reason I decided to do this is because I, for a long time, I'm always on this health journey, right? And I finally just really got back into it um, after the semester ended when I got home for the summer. So, you know, I was changing my eating habits as I should be because I'm 21 and, you know, I can't keep eating like crazy. So, I changed my eating habits and, you know, I was on the regular, you know what I'm saying? Um, what is the regular? You know, just um, replacing bad foods with good, taking out more salt, sugar, replacing with fruits, veggies, you know, the normal stuff. I personally, I have, I don't eat pork. I haven't eaten pork in about three years. Like, I don't know. I just, ever since I started eating freedom, I don't eat pork. We don't really eat pork like that. So I never ate pork and beef follow directly after. So I don't really eat pork and beef. Beef is an, ex is an exception though. You know what I'm saying? Because my parents from upstate, so I know about the hot dogs, you know what I'm saying? But, so that's like the only time I eat beef, but no, I don't really eat beef like that. So then, you know, I'm just like a chicken girl. I love fried chicken and all the other stuff, all the other fried stuff. You know, I already didn't eat certain things. So when I came home from school, I was basically just, you know, stop eating like a bunch of sweets and, um, you know, stop eating fried foods, stop eating fast food, stuff like that. And then my brother texted me one night and told me to watch this stupid documentary on Netflix called What the Health. Now, I am a Netflix documentary type chick. I be watching the Netflix documentaries because I love documentaries for one. Two, I love food documentaries. Three, I've already seen a bomb food documentary on Netflix. So I'm like, what could you possibly have to show me, right? So basically, this whole entire documentary was about why all meat is bad, why all dairy is bad, and the reason behind it and why it's all bad and what's really going on in the little um, farms and stuff. So I was so confused after watching it. I'm like... What did I just watch? And I'm trying to figure out, okay, first of all, why would my brother show me this when he is like the most meaty man ever? Like, this dude eats any and everything. Like, why would he show me this? Is he thinking about going vegan? I know not. Like, not him, no. So then I'm like, okay, so am I supposed to be like, am I, is my diet or my lifestyle not good enough right now? Like, what the heck? What I need to do? What? So this has nothing to do with me. Oh, I just don't like the way animals are being treated. To be quite frank, I don't care. I know that sounds bad, but I just honestly don't care. I'm vegan now because, well, the reason I had to change my lifestyle is because I'm so tired of feeling like crap at the end of the day. I'm so tired of just being, like, tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate feeling sick. So, I had to change my lifestyle. And then, like, I'm in my lifestyle and I'm still feeling sick. And it's like, eh, you gotta do better. You know what I'm saying? So, I am going vegan simply because I want to feel better about myself. And I see this as like the ultimate challenge because like I do some really challenging things every now and again very 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 rarely but you know when I do I do them and I see it as such a challenge to go vegan because it's like okay Ariel you know it's to me it's not you can't eat this you can't eat that you can't know to me it's you're going to fill your body with the proper nutrients. Let's see if you can do that. Because a lot of people in your country cannot. So let's see if you can do it. And I feel like it takes a really strong-minded individual to be able to achieve this. So that's really what I want to do. I just want to prove to myself that I can, you know, I can be healthy. Like, there's, I feel like, honestly, indulging in bad, bad food is weak. You're a weak person if you... You're not a weak person if you do that. Oh, my gosh. I did not mean to say that. What I'm saying is a weak 
um i think it's a weak quality that's that us americans carry but we can't really help it because you know that's just how we're born we bo were born you know we just automatically indulge into a bunch of crazy foods you know it's america you know what i'm saying so we're not introduced to you know healthy food right off the bat like other countries are in third world countries you know what i'm saying so with all that being said yes i see it as such a challenge and i really want to be able to do what i want i will i feel like i'm going to feel so strong-minded and so physically strong like oh my gosh i'm huge on protein like y'all have to ask my freaking peers freshman year in college ask my roommate bro like i'm like oh my gosh i need protein protein i need protein here this is i'm looking at it like, does this have protein how many protein how many grams like i am all about protein because i'm trying to build muscle and have been for the past freaking three years but i'm like the same size like what is the like i found out though that the best protein comes from vegetables and i'm like and all you need some meat and in the videos like no you don't i'm like uh-huh and it's like no and i'm like okay well i didn't know that so now i definitely you know can reach my goal the right way you know i was i was honestly hesitant about it because i was thinking about cheese y'all i love cheese oh my gosh like i love macaroni and cheese i love doritos so the fact that i can't have cheese is like, oh my God, you know what i mean but i was like ariel you're stronger than that and then i you know uplifted myself because i'm like there are vegan dishes for almost everything you know so i was like okay and then i thought about how often i eat macaroni and cheese and how often i eat doritos it's like ariel it's not really that often especially since you didn't change your lifestyle like you don't even eat crazy like that no more okay so i told y'all why let me talk about what it consists of so can't have any meats obviously no seafood no dairy yeah that's it no dairy and I don't know I think it's like no oils or something like that but a lot of dishes I see people be cooking and have oil and I'm like I don't know I'm a beginner so don't crucify me in this video no meats that's not really challenging so I already don't eat beef and pork haven't for a long time fried chicken is my weakness so that was I was like oh my gosh and then seafood I hardly ever get seafood you know so I love it but I hardly ever get it so it's not like I'm losing out you know what i'm saying and i told you cheese is the hardest things and almost everything has egg in it but almost everything that has egg in it can be replaced or be straight up taken out like you don't need an egg you know what i'm saying so it's like okay whatever and i hate eggs by themselves so wait why is my lighting darker now you see what i'm saying i'm trying to look beautiful i'm trying to look dark and i'm not trying to look dark and lovely because you know i'm trying to have good lighting i don't need to be looking dark you know what I'm saying? but anyways i don't know what the heck i'm supposed to be doing like this is so foreign to me because i know what i think i kind of know what i'm supposed to be eating but i don't know how to pair anything like the american breakfast consists of maybe like waffle pancake eggs bacon something like that what am i supposed to eat for breakfast like i know what i can eat but i don't know how to pair it like i don't know what goes with what you know like am i supposed to have like tomatoes with like lettuce like what the heck you know like i don't know how to pair things so i need to know like like tradition or you know staple vegan dishes or whatever so I honestly don't know what are staple vegan foods at this point i'm hearing a lot of different things and it's like okay what tell me what you know i'm just so excited that i'm doing this i love cooking once i like get into it so i'm really excited to like create new dishes i'm really excited to like start feeling better and just feeling overall like <sighs> You know, I can't explain it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. My lighting is dimming me out again, like, what the heck? Come on, light. Dang. Come on. Oh my gosh, why can't I ever talk? It irritates me, like, what the heck? So, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on how I feel, uh, what's working for me, um, where I'm getting my stuff from, you know, all that, all that, you know, I'm going to talk to y'all later, so, Tawana Tenna.